Dear students, welcome to Allen Overseas. Welcome to another informative video about the NEET, UG, 2024 exam pattern, and important updates. In this video, we will guide you through the examination structure, how marks are awarded, and the rules for bonus marks, along with essential instructions for both Section A and Section B. The NEET, UG, 2024 exam pattern consists of four subjects, each divided into two sections. Section A comprises 35 MCQs having a total weightage of 140 marks, while Section B contains 15 MCQs, from which candidates are required to attempt any 10 questions having a total weightage of 40 marks. The NEET UG 2024 exam will have a total weightage of 720 marks. Now, let's delve into the guidelines for Section A. In Section A, candidates must select the correct answer or the most appropriate answer from the given options. Here's how marks are awarded. First, for each correct answer or the most appropriate answer, 4 marks will be awarded. Second, for each incorrectly marked option, minus 1 mark will be awarded. Third, if a question is left unanswered, no mark will be awarded. Fourth, if more than one option is found correct, four marks will be awarded to those candidates who marked any of the correct options. Fifth, if all options are found correct, four marks will be awarded to candidates who attempted the question. Sixth, if none of the options is found correct or a question is found to be wrong or a question is dropped, then all candidates who have appeared will be given four marks irrespective of the fact whether the question has been attempted or not attempted by the candidate. Moving on to Section B. In Section B, candidates must attempt any 10 out of the 15 questions provided. If a candidate attempts more than 10 questions, only the first 10 attempted questions will be considered for the evaluation. Here's how marks are awarded. First, for each correct answer, 4 marks will be awarded. Second, for each incorrect answer, minus 1 mark will be awarded. Third, if left unanswered, then no mark will be awarded. Fourth, if more than one option is correct, four marks awarded to those who mark any correct option. Fifth, if all options are correct, four marks will be awarded to those students only who attempted the question. Sixth, if a question is found to be incorrect or the question is dropped, then four marks will be awarded to all those who have attempted the question. Let's understand the major difference between sections A and B. If a question or all of its options are found incorrect in Section A, then all NEET UG 2024 appearing candidates will receive 4 marks irrespective of attempt is made or not. But in the case of Section B, as there is internal choice available in this section, only in case attempting that particular wrong question, a candidate will receive 4 marks. Remember, candidates are advised to perform calculations using the constants provided in the questions. It's applicable for both sections A and B. Let's discuss the do's and don'ts before the NEET UG exam. First, don't start a new chapter. Second, revise previous year's question papers as much as possible. Third, focus on your strengths. Fourth, go through NCERT solved examples. You can skip examples involving complex mathematical calculations. Fifth, keep revising all Allen major test papers. Students, I hope this video was helpful to you. Still, if you have any queries, feel free to ask us in the comments section, and we will get back to you soon. Best of luck with your NEET, UG, 2024 preparations.